It's hard to imagine that a billionaire with a net worth of hundreds of billions, who has been a prominent figure in the Chinese business world for decades, would be attacked by his own employees. On July 31, a shocking incident took place at the headquarters of Baoneng Group in Shenzhen. This event may also reflect the current state of China's economy. At around 9 a.m., a small-scale conflict occurred outside the parking lot of Baoneng Center in Shenzhen. The main characters involved were Chairman Yao Zhenhua and over 10 former employees of Baoneng Group, who claimed they were owed wages. In the video footage, a black Maybach car was seen with windows and windshields covered in notes that read, pay us our wages, and 14 months of unpaid salary. Perhaps to prevent the car from escaping, one of the protesters used a chain to secure his belt to the passenger side door handle and raised his phone to film the other side of the car. Yao Zhenhua was surrounded by security personnel and protesters in the middle of the road. Amidst the crowd, someone shouted, stop the violence. The protesters surrounding Yao Zhenhua were indeed former employees of Baoneng Group, who claimed they were owed wages and they were demanding their unpaid salaries from him. In the video, two of the unpaid workers also pleaded, Mr. Yao, we just want our wages. Despite attempting to break free from the encirclement, Yao Zhenhua was grabbed by someone. After struggling to break loose several times, another group of people caught up with him, trying to encircle him once again. Someone shouted, assaulting people is against the law. Trying to stop the conflict. However, an immediate response came from another voice, saying, is withholding our wages for two years not breaking the law and, the final moments of the video, security personnel managed to pull Yao Zhenhua away from the crowd and escorted him into the B1 building of Banning Wei Valley. Yao Zhenhua, once ranked fourth on the Who Run China Rich list with a fortune of hundreds of billions, is now facing numerous creditors surrounding him. As China's economy slows down, many companies that previously expanded their businesses rapidly find themselves burdened with heavy debts. This has led to the current situation happened. The automotive business has become a major area of wage arrears for Baoneng Group. Previously, some employees of Banning Group provided the author with a document titled, Baoneng Group's Wage Arrears Summary. This document was compiled by the unpaid employees themselves. According to the information in this summary, Banning Group owed 720 million yuan in unpaid wages from July 2021 to April 2022, with Banning Automotive alone owing 647 million yuan. This situation is related to the explosive expansion of Baoneng Automotive. At the end of 2017, Banning acquired Koro's Automotive, starting a bold foray into the automotive industry, which became a significant part of Banning Group's industrial portfolio. However, not long after, conflicts arose between Baoneng and its dealers. By the end of 2018, 40 dealers jointly criticized Koro's, claiming that Koro's was selling at low prices, setting restrictions on promised rebates and promotional expenses, causing massive losses to the dealers. In April 2019, during the Shanghai Auto Show, more than 40 dealer representatives wore t-shirts with slogans like Banning Koro's deceives business and cheating dealers, return our hard-earned money, while protesting at the Koro's booth. Afterwards, Banning started building its own stores and massively recruiting employees. According to public information, at the end of 2019, Baoneng Automotive had only two or 3,000 employees, but by the Chinese New Year of 2021, the workforce had rapidly expanded to 26,000 people. However, Baoneng's automotive business did not perform as expected. From 2019 to 2021, the sales volume of Baoneng Automotive declined significantly with sales figures of 22,700 units, 13,100 units, and 5,200 units, respectively. This downturn led to a wave of store closures and employee wage arrears. As early as the beginning of 2021, Baoneng Automotive Sales Company employees began to experience unpaid social security contributions, and six months later, the same problem occurred for Baoneng Automotive's regular employees, Liu Qi, one of the employees, had approximately 40,000 yuan in unpaid wages, but she understood that the majority of those owed were owed amounts exceeding 100,000 yuan. For the creditors, surrounding Yao Zhenhua is not an unexpected thing. Over the past two years, they have attempted to surround him multiple times. For instance, on July 24 this year, 
a temporary shareholders meeting was held for Kangzhou High Technology, which was once controlled by Baoneng. At that time, many people predicted that Yao Zhenyue might appear in person, so some creditors, suppliers, and former employees went to the venue. However, in the end, Yao Zhenhua did not show up, and Kangzhou High Technology, seen as Baoneng Group's money bag, had its controlling rights taken away by the Torch Group, controlled by Zhang Shan state-owned assets. As long as I hear that Yao Zhenhua might be somewhere, I will come, a manager of a Baoning car sales store in Zhongshan told the author at the scene. Two years of wage claims and debt collection have brought these creditors together, establishing connections where they exchange information, share progress on their wage claims, and discuss Yao Zhenhua's activities. One creditor introduced to the author that current Baoning employees sometimes leak information about Yao Zhenhua's possible locations. Based on these tips, they rush to the scene to surround him. At the same time, there are also employees loyal to Banning and Yao Zhenhua lurking in these wage claim groups. Whenever there's news about wage claims, they report it to their bosses to help them avoid being surrounded. Some of these employees have been owed wages for 15 months. The Banning vs. Wanda battle that started in 2015 made Yao Zhenhua famous and his wealth skyrocketed. According to the Hu Ruin Rich List, at one point, Yao Zhenhua's fortune was increasing by an average of 20 billion yuan per week, and he even ranked fourth on the Huron China Rich List, with a fortune of hundreds of billions. Now, this former billionaire is being surrounded by creditors everywhere, and on July 31, he was attacked and had his glasses knocked off.